It's time for the X and Y show with your host, Mr. Roosevelt. He talks about man topics, lady topics, and relationships. He talks about love, sex, and infidelities. He even gives good tips. There is no other show that compares to the X and Y show. Oh yeah. Sit back, take your clothes off, and relax. It's time for the X and Y show, where real relationship issues are talked about and addressed. The only place on the planet that tackles the topics that everyone wants to talk about, but no one is brave enough to address. Nothing escapes X and Y, baby. Now, here's your host, Roosevelt Colbert. And greetings, 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 and greetings. <laughs> Welcome to another X and Y show. I'm your host, Roosevelt. It's been a long week, and I'm so glad to be back talking to you. And I hope tonight, uh, we got a juicy episode tonight on. I'm sure that uh, you will enjoy tonight's episode, um, because I'm sure all of us have dealt with this uh, sometime in, in our past. Or if not, you know, well, just listen. Uh, but I think that this definitely, uh, the nice episode affects a lot of people. Now, as usual with the X and Y show, I am available at a wide variety of different outlets for your listening pleasure. I'm available on Stitcher. I'm available on TuneIn. I am available on iTunes. And I'm available on Google Play as well. You can also hear my archived episodes on the Spreaker platform. Um, I am also available on social media. I have an Instagram account. You can connect with me. I'm also on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. And I'm on Tumblr as well. Now you can see all of that on my social media and all of my different platforms on my website. Everything is there. You can um, different avenues for there. You can follow me on different social media. Everything is on my website, which is www.thexyshow.com. Again, that's www.thexyshow.com. So feel free to um, choose one and listen to whatever, whichever uh, venue that you uh, prefer. And um, hopefully you uh, enjoy the XY Show uh, from years to come. Now, with that being said, um, let's get into tonight's episode. Um, tonight's episode <clears throat> is <laughs> basically uh, something that you know has been going on a long time, but you know um, has really, I think, you see in uh, becoming more prevalent now that relationships are becoming more open. But it's still looked down upon when certain sexes do it. And I'm talking about women. Now, the nice episode is what is the acceptable age gap between two people? Again, what is the acceptable age gap between two people? And I ask that question because a lot of times um, men, uh, when there's a large age gap, um, they are praised, you know, they're looked upon with, all right, pops, yeah, go ahead, pops, I ain't mad at you, good job, got him a young one, you know, but on the other hand, when women do the same thing, they are look as being credit robbers, or being old hoes, <laughs> so to speak, you know, you know, robbing a cradle and shit, and um, I always thought that was kind of unfair, but, um, you know, what can you do? It really, does it really matter um, of the age gap? You know, I think it really, I would say it depends solely on the two people that's in a relationship 
or marriage. It's really nobody else's damn business. Um, but also insane, you know, I personally have a difficulty in seeing how someone that could be like 80 years old marrying someone like 30. You know, I mean, because there's, there's really nothing in common that, I mean, but, you know, again, again, you know, I'm just saying I can't see because that's a little far for me, you know, and, and I say that because I actually prefer older women, you know, 60 plus. Um, and for those of you who know me, you know I'm not joking. <laughs> but, um, I, and I'll elaborate on that in a moment, but I'm just saying, you know, 60 plus, you know, that's like 20, a little 20, about 20 years older than me and and that's that's as far as i would be willing to go i think older than that um would be uh too far um, but that's just me that's just my preference and again like i said it, it depends the age gap is okay depending on the two people in the relationship if the relationship participants are cool with it then it's nobody else's damn business you know if they're happy that's all that counts now, with that being said, I just want to, um, I was reading over this Cosmopolitan ad uh, by Peggy Throng um, back in March 2016, and she basically was outlining 17 celebrity couples with big age differences, and really, some of them I really didn't know. And the ones that I did know, I didn't know it was that big, you know, because I really don't give a fuck. I don't care about who's dating who, who's older than who and all that shit, because it don't affect me. It's none of my damn business. But since I was doing the subject matter on this show, I was just looking over some articles and ran across this. And um, anyway, just take a listen to this she did a report based on 17 celebrity couples that had age gap the first one she had was angelina jolie and brad pitt excuse me now their age difference was 12 years now i didn't know that i didn't know that brad pitt was 12 years older than angelina jolie i didn't know that um, again because i really don't give a damn but you know, for the sake of the show, I just looked doing the research. But I didn't know uh, there was a, I thought it was like five years or something. You know, so. Um, but I just thought that was interesting. Jason Statham, Statham, I don't hear you pronounce that. And Rosie Huntington Whitley. Uh, age difference is 20 years. 20 years. Now, that's about as far as I would want to go, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, 20 years, that's, 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 that's probably about as far as I want to go. So that's probably like me, you know, but on, in this relationship, well, let me go back The Brad Pitt and Angelina Joe Lee relationship. The man was older. Okay. Now the Jason Statham and Rosie Huntington Whitley, the man is older. He's 20 years older. Jason's 20 years older than Rosie, there's a 20 year difference. Donald and Melena Trump, 24 year difference. And actually, that surprised me because I thought he was older. <laughs> I thought that he was a lot older than, uh, than she was, but it's only 24 years. Um, so, again, the man is older in a relationship. Okay, the next one is Beyonce and Jay Z. Uh, the difference is 12 years. I didn't know that. I didn't know Jay-Z was 12 years older than Beyonce. Um, a lot of you are probably saying, how could you not know that? And, I mean, I knew he was older, but I didn't know it was 12 years because, again, I don't give a damn. You know, it's, It has nothing to do with me. It's none of my damn business. But I didn't know that he was 12 years older than Beyonce. But, again, the man... It's older. That's four relationships I'm going to tell you of an age gap that the man is the one that's older. 
The next one is Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds. The age difference is 11 years. Now, I don't know. I'm assuming that uh, Ryan is older. I'm assuming that he's older than Blake by 11 years. Um, he looks older. <laughs> but, but, uh, so I'm going to go and he's older. You know, that's So that's the fifth relationship where there's an age difference, 11 years, where the man is older. Next one is Annaline McCord and Dominique Purcell. That's a 17 year difference. Now he's older again. The man is older. 17 year difference. The next one, Oliver Sarkozy and Mary Kate Olsen. Wow. The difference is 17 years. I didn't know that. 17 years. Again, the man is older than the woman. You see the trend here. Adam Levine and Bihati Prinsloo. Difference is 10 years. 10 years is, you know, that's pretty much, um, you know, 10 years is a gap, but it's really not significant. But it is 10 years. So, But again, the man is older. Okay. Cara Delvigny and St. Vincent. Age difference, 10 years. Now, I don't know who the hell is. <laughs> I don't know who is older in that one. And I'm not going to even try to guess. But um, the age difference is 10 years in that relationship. And that's two women, by the way. Um, Anna Paquin and Stephen Moyer. Uh, True Blood stars. Age difference is 13 years. Now, he's older than Anna by 13 years. Another age gap where a man is older. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, 23 years. Johnny Depp is older by 23 years. That's, that's a lot. But again, where the man is older. Sam and Aaron Taylor Johnson, difference of 23 years. I think she might be older than him, but don't quote me. But, um, you know, if she is, that's the only one where I've named so far where the woman is the older participant. And lastly, uh, you know, I can go on down the line. You know, it's pretty much, I mean, there's a lot of Matthew McConaughey and Camellia Alive's 13 year difference. He's older. The man is older. Jennifer Lopez and Casper Smart. That's the difference of 18 years. Now, Jennifer is older. Uh, that's one where the woman is actually older than the man. And I can go on down the list. I'm, I can be here all night naming couples. But my point is that in our society, you know, we look at women. Um, when they're with someone younger, we look down upon them. You know, we look at them in a bad light. Like, they are definitely a cradle robber. They're a, a, a hoe. You know, how could she be with that young man? You know, but again, we look at the, the male who has a young wife, young trophy wife, and he's praised. He's praised. Now, you ask yourself, does it really matter? Really? I mean, you know, like I said, it, I think it only should matter to the two people who are in a relationship or marriage. But it seems that society has many requirements and ideal settings when it comes to many things in this world. Age and relationships is one of them. But again, like society has double standards when it comes to age gaps and relationships. You know. And the double standard is, you know, for, when you see an old ass man with a young lady, it's cool. It's cool. Go ahead, pops. 
Get up, pops. Yeah, I want to be cool like him. <laughs> when you see an old woman with a young guy, she's a crater robber. She's a crater robber. You know? You know, I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> I remember when I was in Atlanta, I, I was dating this older chick. And um, she was a nice woman, you know. You know, like I said earlier, I, I, I really prefer older women because they're just better women in many ways. And I'll, I'll touch on that in a moment. But I noticed that when, you know, I, I didn't, you know, when me and her hung out, hung out, it was cool. You know, and I wasn't shamed because I don't give a damn what everybody be saying. I don't care about all that shit. You care about what everybody say, you would never go out. Cause somebody gonna always be talking about you, so you know. I never paid attention to all this shit. As long as I was happy, that's all I cared about. So when we and her hung out, I was cool. But the thing is, when she took me around her so-called friends, that was that was what I had a problem with, and that was because I was embarrassed of her. It was because of how they treated her for dating me. You know, it was almost like, how could you date that young guy? Oh, well, he's not. And they were just jealous. That's all it was. They were just jealous because they know she was getting some good dick. They know she was getting some, some good dick. They knew it. You know, they knew she was with somebody who didn't have to pop two or three Viagra pills every time they wanted to fuck. They knew she was getting some good day. And she was too. I was giving it to her. But anyway. Now, you know, when I met her friends, they always looked at us or me or her funny. I didn't like that shit. I didn't like that shit. Only because, you know, I was young. It was obvious. She was older. Shit. I mean, you matter what I asked, Stevie Wonder could see. She was a lot older than me. And automatically, you know, when you see a old woman with a young guy, it's like, oh, he just with her for the money. Oh, he just want to be a mother figure. You know, that's bullshit. And I'm not talking like all guys are thinking like this. Yes, there are some guys out there who are using the older woman for her money and and buying the... For, for her to buy her him presents and all that kind of shit. Of course, there are all, always some bad apples out there. But I can only speak for myself. I wasn't with her for her money. I didn't need her buying me gifts. I just needed her to be her. You know? And her, her older her was better than a lot of younger hers. If you can dig what I'm saying. Now, like I said, a lot of her friends, you know, kind of looked at us funny when we went out and dinner and just functions and all kind of shit. And um, it just acted funny. So I didn't even like being around them, you know, because they acted stupid. It, it was jealous, you know. Also, we used to get looks in public, but I didn't, like I said, I didn't give a damn about that. I mean, because people need to mind their business. So I, I know he was getting looks. You always get looks in public. You know, people always looking at you and judging you. So you can't let people determine how you live your life. People are always going to talk out of the way you dress. Always going to talk about what kind of haircut you have. Always going to talk about your glasses. People just find shit to talk about. So I definitely want to worry about what people are saying. But I'm just making an observation. <laughs> we would be looked at funny from her friends. We would be looked at funny um, in public as well. <laughs> now, also, I would now normally a woman of that age would have kids, of course, and you know, I would get funny look from them as well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> I mean, you think about it when 
me and her used to date, and you know, eventually I, I would run across her children, you know, uh, sons or daughters or whatnot, and they were probably around my age, just a little younger, you know, maybe five years or so. So, yes, I used to get a lot of resentment from the children. You know, they they looking at me like, what is this young dude doing with my mama? You know? And um, and really, the kids should mind their own damn business, too, because mama have needs, and mom has the right to be happy as well. So, you know, kids should mind their damn business as well. But in dealing with her friends, I just think the friends were simply jealous. They were jealous because, like I said, they knew she was getting some good dick. They knew. And it was eating them alive. You know? They knew it. They knew it. And, and besides that, they were jealous because they didn't have the balls to date someone younger. You know, they couldn't handle it. So they resented it. They resented her. They resented me. And they just made the situation awkward when we were around. So I didn't like going around their ass because they were stupid. You know, and I, mean, I didn't need them to hang out. But sometimes you got to hang out with others that you don't want to hang out with just to, you know, make people happy. So, uh, you know, I had to do it once in a while. But I didn't like it. I really didn't. Now, like I said, people in public are just too damn nosy. So I didn't care about what they said. You need to mind their damn business. Simple as fact. People need to shut up and mind their business. Matter of fact, I told them a couple of folks that sometimes, you know, what you looking at? God damn it. We looking over here. What you what you what you looking at? You know, mind your damn business. Eat your dinner. Shut the fuck up. You know, sometimes I would have to tell them. You know? But that's how society is. Society always judging. Always judging folks. Now, in concern of their kids, I give the kids a pass. You know, if I met their kids, her kids, and they was looking at me kind of funny, I would have to give them a pass. Because, you know, I had to put myself in their shoes. How would I feel if this young cat was with my mama? That would probably kind of bother me as well. Because they, they didn't know my intentions. You know, they didn't know me. But I really was not using their mother for anything. I was just with her because I dug her. You know, she was a nice woman. I wasn't using her for anything. I wasn't using her for her money, uh, gifts, you know, uh, security, nothing. I just wanted to be with her. You know, believe it or not. So, you know, but they didn't know that. So they looked at me as being, you know, a leech you know, or scoundrel. How could this guy who's 20-some years younger than my mom, how could he like her? No, he, he's, he's after something. So I had to get him a pass. Beside the fact that they know their mother was getting some high hard ones on a regular basis. So that would fuck with anybody. you know. So I had to give the kids passes. But again, kids, as well as society, as well as friends need to mind their damn business because it's the age gap is only important or should be important to the people who are participating in a relationship or marriage to anyone else it's just none of their business but anyway i'm going to take a short break and i'm going to come back and talk about and dive a little bit deeper in this uh, episode and tell you why I like older women. <laughs> You're listening to the XY Show and I'm your host Roosevelt and I will be back in about three and a half.
Welcome back to the X and Y Show. Hope you're enjoying tonight's episode. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Google, Instagram, and Tumblr. Well, all right. Back to our real cute teddy bear of a host, Roosevelt. And welcome back to the X and Y Show. And tonight we are talking about um, basically what is the acceptable age gap between two people. And I'm really kind of diving into why are women scrutinized for dating or marrying younger men, but men are praised for doing the same thing. And before I went on break, I was just giving you some examples <clears throat> of how, you know, that could happen and um, basically give me some of my experiences that I've had in the past of, you know, I've seen firsthand how older women could be, <laughs> you know, just be, you know, looked down upon just because her boyfriend or her husband is significantly younger than she is, you know, and that's not fair, you know, that's not fair. A lot of you saying, well, life is not fair. No, that's bullshit. That's, that's not fair. I mean, when on the other hand, a man can do the same thing and be prayed for it, you know, <clears throat> and I believe it's this way now and always have been always will be this way um because it's a man was it's a man's world it's a man's world with a man's rules you know been established for centuries you know so you know we use, it's okay now to see pops with a younger woman you know, and think it's okay. You don't think twice. Oh, well, that's cool. Oh, Pop still got it. You know, but a woman doing the same thing, you know, she's robbing the cradle. You a <laughs> You know, and like I said before, it shouldn't matter to society. Society it really shouldn't matter because society should mind their damn business. It's none of their business. If the two people who are participating in the relationship or marriage, even though there's a large age gap, if they are happy, that's all that should count. Fuck society. See, I think that's what everybody should have, what the attitude that everybody should have. Fuck society. But unfortunately, a lot of people are influenced by society and the way that society looks upon them, you know, so they, you know, sacrifice their happiness because of what society says. And that's bullshit. I don't do that. You know, I like older women. I like, um, I prefer 60 plus. I say 60 plus. I've dated, uh, I dated women, uh, <laughs> I shouldn't be telling y'all. <laughs> y'all might think I'm a, a scoundrel. But I've dated women, uh, you know, early 60s, middle 60s, late 60s, uh, a few early 70s. <laughs> I did, uh, you know, but. You know, they were nice women. They were cool. They really were. Um, and I wasn't using them for anything. I didn't need their money and all that shit. But to me personally, I'm going to really get down. To me personally, I prefer older women because they're simply better. They're better than younger women. They are. You know, older women know how to take care of a man. They know how to, most of them know how to cook. Most of them know how to clean. Um, you know, give massages. Most of them know how to talk to you. Most of them know when to shut the fuck up. You know, most of them just better than their younger counterparts. And I'm saying most because there are some exceptions to the rule, always. 
But they're just better women. And I notice a lot of you saying, oh, he just want a mother figure. Oh, that's bullshit. No, I don't. I have a mother. I don't need another mother figure. Damn sure don't need that. So that's not what I'm looking for. I'm just, just, uh, it's, but it's a better woman. It seems like when a woman gets past uh, late 50s, you know, she start getting better. I, I look at it like uh, it's like wine. You know, when it gets to a certain point in age, it just start tasting better. And yes, I believe old women have better pussy as well. Yes, I do. You know, they know how to... Uh, m most old women know how to fuck better than younger kind of And they do! I, and, and I know some of you young you guys are saying, oh man, you crazy. No, see, you're going by the looks. I'm talking by the performance. Y'all hear me? I'm talking about the performance. I'm not talking about the looks. No, the 60-year-old woman can't compete with a 30-year-old woman. Hell no. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying the performance. She know how to take care of you. She know how to, to wiggle on you. She know how to make you feel good. I had a... Hold up now. I had an epiphany there for <laughs> They just old that old women are better women. You know. Young women are lazy. You know, younger women are just lazy. You know, uh, you know old women are much cleaner, you know, they always the house always on point, you know, and old you know, younger women, you go to the house, it's all fucked up, you know. And I was saying, you got to excuse the house. I was tired. I'm like, but damn, you been tired all month? <laughs> what the... the, the I come over here is fucked up. You know, they're they just lazy. Half of them can't cook. You know? Half of them half base their ass. They don't take one... They're so lazy, they don't take one shower a day. You know, and... So, you know, they have babies in their ass. You know they ain't cleaning no crib. They're just lazy, just sorry. And I'm not talking about the old women, old younger women. You know, not all. I don't want to generalize like that. But a lot of them are just lazy. And old women are just, you know, better in so many ways, so many levels, you know. So, yes, personally, I would rather an older woman. And to be honest with you, if I could, um, I would marry a 60 plus year old woman. The only reason why I don't, because I still want to have kids. And old women, you know, they can't have babies because they've already gone through the life change um that's the only reason though otherwise i would i would definitely marry an older woman I, I would i believe i would i've always liked old women even when i was really young you know when i was 10 i was looking at 20 year olds you know when i was 20 i was looking at 40 year olds <laughs> you know i was always something about old women i just always liked you know it's the perfect woman, the older woman. It's a better woman. That's right, I said it. Better than younger women. They, they, they're more wise. They know what to do. You know? But, like I said, the only reason why I don't because, you know, I want to have kids. But now, again, getting back to tonight's episode, that's... I believe the guys who are dating older women um, and the, the women who are dating younger, um, older men, you know, vice versa, you know. Now, there's always exception to the rules. Yes, there's always people out there who's trying to use other individuals, um, you know. But I think some of those people will fall in the... <clears throat> the um, group of actually liking someone who's older. You know, they liking someone, end up loving that person, 
and they just happen to be 25 years old. So what? So what? Whose business is it? Whose business is it? So are, are men praised for, for dating younger women? Yes. Are women praised for dating younger men or marrying younger men? No. Is it acceptable? Does it matter? You know? What is an acceptable gap between two individuals? Five years? Ten years? Fifteen years? Thirty years? What's acceptable? What's right? <laughs> As society will say, what's right? You know? I think what's right is what is between those two people. Those two people are satisfied. Those two people are happy. It depends on those two individuals and the relationship or marriage. If they are fulfilled, if they are satisfied, if they are happy, then that's all that matters. So the acceptable gap is what those two people say it is. Fuck everybody else. Fuck society. Let those people be. Society, mind your damn business. People are happy with one another. That's all that counts. There is no acceptable gap. Fuck society. Stop letting society putting you in this you know, barrier. Oh, I can't be with anyone for more than five years older than me. Oh, I can't be with anyone more, more than ten years older than me. Oh, I can't date him. He's too young. <laughs> Fuck society. Date for who you makes you happy. And if they just happen to be 20 or 30 years younger, so be it. You happy? That's all that should count. Anyway, I'm going to take a little break. And then when I return, I want to conclude the night's episode. And I'll let you know what's going on next week. And um, from there, I would also let you know, um, you know what's going on in some upcoming shows as well. And uh, go from there. So, you're listening to the XY Show. I'm your host, Roosevelt, and I will be back in about four and a half.
Welcome back to the X and Y Show. Hope you're enjoying tonight's episode. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Google, Instagram, and Tumblr. Well, all right. Back to our real cute teddy bear of a host, Roosevelt. And hey, welcome back to the X and Y Show, and I uh, hope you enjoyed tonight's episode. What is the acceptable age gap between two people? And I just want you to know, I think it's wrong that women are scrutinized for dating younger guys. At the same time, older men are praised for dating younger women. And uh, I just think society just needs to mind their business. If the two people are happy in a relationship or marriage, then that is the acceptable age gap. It is acceptable. If they're happy and they're fulfilled in their relationship and and they're coupling with that person, then that's all that matters. So that was my outlook on this episode tonight. The two people are happy, nothing else matters. Fuck society. But um, I know a lot of you might disagree. But again, like I said before, Mind your damn business. <laughs> so, with that being said, now I want you to go on uh, my website, www.thexyshow.com, and you'll see the upcoming episodes um, that um, is down, down the pipe. And I'm sure that you, um, you know, will like. And if you have any comments, feel free to send me a note. Um, or any past episodes, or this one, or any upcoming episodes as well. And um, I would definitely uh, try to uh, get your feedback <clears throat> and read it, and and uh, definitely take it into account, whether uh, good or negative criticism, whatever the case may be. Um, all feedback is good, because it makes me better and providing you a better product. So... Um, with that being said, now next week's episode is The Divorce is Final, What Now? The Divorce is Final, What Now? And I'm talking about when couples split up and um, it's basically just the beginning of an all-out war. Um, you know, a lot of casualties, kids, finances, you know, it just can get ugly, you know, from two people who once loved each other. And um, now they want to kill one another. So I'm going to talk about that next Friday on the XY Show. I hope you can definitely join me for that one. And again, you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, and Instagram as well. Um, you can also listen to me at a wide variety of different outlets. I'm on uh, the Spreaker uh, platform. You can see all of my and hear all of my archived episodes on Spreaker. You can also hear me on iTunes. I'm also on Stitcher. I'm on TuneIn and I'm also on Google Play. You can find everything from my social media to my platforms on my website which is www.thexyshow.com. You can also um, send me any comments on my website. You can also sh stop by the X and Y shop and uh, get your t-shirt um, on your favorite X and Y logo and show you that you are a true X and Yer. And um, I would definitely love you for that. With that being said, that concludes tonight's episode. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you join me for next week and weeks to come. Remember, you cannot have any love without X and Y. Good night from the X and Y Show, and I'm your host, Roosevelt. I will see you next week. Later. You've been listening to the X and Y Show with your host, Roosevelt Colbert, the place where real relationship issues are talked about and addressed. Join us next time. You can now put your clothes back on or not. Uh.